I'm too much for you. Oh crap. I'm just using my chi attacks and hoping for the best. Well, they give me 1,000. Oh! I'm too much for you. You're too slow. Wait, so will just killing the spirits restore the fountain? I hope it is. Whoop. Oh, shit. Hup. <laughs> Hup. 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 And our survey says... The guardian of this fountain is destroyed, and I weep for her. She was once one of our order, but lured by Lee's promises of wealth and power, she betrayed us. Of course. It's amazing how people change when money's involved. So she betrayed you. This thing is the corrupted spirit of Xiang Wu. During the attack, she and several other spirits... Oh, that's why they were called the betrayers. ...by tainting the holy fountains with human blood. Long before the attack, Li sent spies to bribe some of our weaker members. When they tainted the fountains, the power sustaining us against the army vanished. Holy crap, he really was a strategist. Fucking hell. What happened to Xian Wu? After the battle, the Emperor executed Xian Wu and the others, and he used the power of the Water Dragon to bind their spirits to the fountain. Okay. That's awful. Their crime was terrible, but they did not deserve this fate. They suffered endless torment from which they could never escape. Such is the power of the binding. Mm -hmm. The binding is a sacred ritual of the spirit monks. We can draw on the power of the water dragon to bind a spirit to us. It is one of our tools for shepherding the dead. Oh, okay. Even before Dirge was befouled, there were ghosts in the world. Some spirits would become lost in their journey here, or refuse to let go of the mortal world and go mad. If we found one of these restless ghosts, we could bind it to us and bring it to Dirge. Then we would release the spirit so the water dragon could lead it into the afterlife. Ah, uh, okay. So the Emperor did this to Xian Wu. The binding is a great gift from the water dragon, if used properly. But the power can be abused. Ah, uh, okay. The Emperor bound the traitors not to himself, but to a place. Shit. A spirit can never escape such a binding. It feels an inexorable pull, but it has nowhere to go. It feels a compulsion to obey, but is never given a command. Ah, oh, shit. The spirit twists and corrupts, and in its agony, it goes mad. Hmm. Binding a spirit to a place is a terrible crime for our order. The only thing worse is binding a living creature. Wow. I don't want to teach all this, uh, not teach, I don't want to know all this shit. Is that how Sun Kim was bound to Lee's armor? Does it have that kind of power? Binding the living condemns them to a fate worse than death. It forces the subject to obey and robs them of their free will. As a spirit monk, you must never do such a thing. The ability to bind spirits comes from the essence of the water dragon inside you. You may not have the power now. But one day, you will be able to call upon it when needed. Hmm. But this is not the time for lessons or instruction. The Guardian is dead, but you must place the seal on the fountain for it to be fully restored. The seal? Oh. Well, that was easy. I got 6k. I'm going to be leveling up a shitload. Now we can go through the gate. Yes. It worked. The fountain is restored and the gates to the inner courtyard have opened. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. I'm getting so much XP. Wait, where am I at? Wow, I'm at 10,000 already. Yeah, I think I'll probably get to 20, 20, not 21. By end of the game. I don't think there's a level cap, but it would mean, you know, grinding and stuff. Which I don't think's worth it. The first fountain has been restored. You have done well. Thank you. Great mistress. It is heaven itself to see you again. I have been so... so lost without your wisdom. I have left you without my guidance for far too long, Abbot Song. But I could not speak with you. My strength was consumed contacting the last of the Order. Mm -hmm. You are the last. There is no one else that can do what you are destined to do. I had to conserve and prepare. I did not know the exact day you would cross to this realm. Understand, what must I do now? I was able to guide you here because there was an instant between the Emperor's death and when Sun Li claimed my power. I regained some energy, but that moment has passed. Okay. Li is consuming my power, drawing it through the amulet he stole when he betrayed you. You must restore the next fountain before it is too late. Okay. Why can I you? Oh yeah. I can. I stop the emperor. I can stop Lee. Perhaps, but Sun Hai did not have your amulet. Fortunately, you now see that as a spirit monk, essence gems will serve you without it. It is a pathway, not a source of power. Yeah, that's fair enough. The amulet trains you to access what is already present. Something Sun Li misunderstood. However, as a focus, it still allows him to take my power much faster than his brother did. Shit. Let the wisdom of the abbot guide you if you need aid. Restore the second fountain and I will speak to you again. If I am able. Well, let's hope that you are. There we go. I sense my former student refuses to rest easy. The time for subtlety is past. Hmm. What the fuck is he doing? You're too valuable to abandon a second time. Wait, what? Come. We must return to Dirge. Wow. What the fuck? That looks like Death's Hand. Is there gonna be three Death's Hands? He was wearing the same armor. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, I don't wanna. <laughs> it's an interesting twist though, like, I never saw that come in. Oh, here's a second fountain. The second fountain is here, but the seal is missing. This could only be possible if the guardian bound to this fountain has been destroyed. Good one less thing to worry about. Maybe we have an ally in here now. So who dest what destroyed the guardian? This is troubling. I feel a foul taint here. Something worse than the corruption of the emperor. Something older. Something not of this realm. Oh great. There are unnamed things barred from entering both the mortal world and the spirit realm. But with the water dragon gone, such a being may have crossed into Dirge. Ah, oh, fuck. Such a creature would be drawn to the corruption of the fountain. It must have destroyed the guardian and hidden the seal so the fountain could never be restored. Don't worry, we'll find it. The creature would not go far. Wait, do you feel that something is coming? Access from my master. You will restore one fountain, but the guardian of the seal was weak. The seal of the second fountain is not so easily claimed. Better die, demon. I am 
of the dominion of suffering. It was I who devoured the guardian bound to this fountain and claimed the seal for my master. Of course. Seek me out, traverse the path of the demons, and you can be reclaimed the seal if you dare. Bring it. Quick, let's go after him. It must have a lair around here. If we face it there, its strength will be at its greatest. But we have little choice if we are to recover the seal. Exactly. But there may be a way to yet overcome this demon. I know of a gem here in the monastery. A gem of great power. You can use it to help defeat this monster. Hmm. Where can I find this gem? The gem has been kept here in the monastery for many generations. Guarded by powerful spells that keep evil at bay. The spells persisted, even after Dirge fell. Okay. The demon seeks to lure us to its lair, but it may also be trying to lure us away from the gem. We must go through the opposite arch if you wish to claim the gem. Fine, let's go get that gem. You are the last spirit monk. The wards will not keep you from the gem. But take care. Its power will be like a beacon drawing all manner of dark spirits near. Battling through such creatures may be just as difficult as facing the demon. In any case, the choice is yours. I want to go after the gem. Oh, saving your game. So we go either we go left or we go right. I'm going left. Just because, why wouldn't I? I mean, sure, there'll be enemies over here as well. But it'll be worth it. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I think it will be. Fingers crossed. There we go, lost spirits. Wait, is that all we're fighting? Just some lost spirits. That I can deal with. Alleyoop. What the fuck is that? Oh great. What's this? Another spirit drawn to this place? Another ghost seeking to claim the power of the gem? Your quest will end in failure, as did mine. For twenty years I have sought to pass the wards protecting this gem. Its power calls out to me, yet the magic guarding this prize has kept me at bay. None can pass. Well, I know I can. The wards protect, protect against evil, but I can pass. You are bold. Do you not know my power? I could snuff out your existence like a flame. But wait! There is something different about you. I know. You bear the mark of the water dragon. You can pass through the wards, as will I, once I have devoured your spirit. Yeah, okay, dude. Whoa, I got like fucking thrown. <clears throat> Seemingly. God damn it. Yup, yup. Wait, is the gem like right here? I guess it is. The Red Minister. Wow, that was hard. Star gained. Of course. Ah, oh, here we go. The Eye of the Dragon. And I got 3k. Eye of the Dragon. Oh my god. It gets me six on all of them. In all fairness, I could just get rid of all those. But I'd rather get rid of... Oh god, Golden Tongue. Yeah. Golden Tongue to put that back on. Nice. Brilliant. Okay, so that was fucking simple. That took no time at all, and I thought it was going to take me a lot longer to get the gem. But I guess not. I can't complain. I'd rather it only take five minutes as opposed to taking like, you know, twenty. 
Because that would be like just way too long. I say the word like way too much. I don't know why. Just, I don't 